Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Art, this is our last blog vlog of the year. How the do you last, feel? The last one? How come? Well, because it's New Year's. Oh, I thought it was Blur's Day. <laughs> it's, it's Vlog Thursday. Vlog Founders Thursday. Vlog. Not just any vlog. Founders Vlog. Founders Vlog on the 31st of this absolutely interesting year. Uh, wow. Thank you, goodness it's over. You know something? It's It ain't... No, that was a different person we interviewed. It's not really... It's just in the middle of one. It's a continuing, I think. Look, we're obviously referring to that it's been an awful year because of the pandemic. Oh, sure. And uh, and, uh, and the terrible tragedies, loss of life. It's, it's been really rotten. Right. And, and it's not going to end uh, for a while. It's going to continue on until we get some immunities around through sure. uh, uh, vaccines and what have you. But yeah. uh, uh, interestingly, uh, while the year sucked, uh, even for us, uh, from a, a standpoint of celebrating Act Two, we had probably uh, an interesting year that we prepared for without knowing by uh, starting our Skype interviews. Started doing Skype instead yeah. of, remember, we would get in your car and your truck, really, and load up the camera, three cameras and uh, wires and boxes and go interview somebody at their house or their business. And right. That was a quite a different experience. Right. And uh, it was actually fun. It was a, a, the uh, working with the people and, and basically having that personal contact is right. something that we miss, the physical contact, which I think sure. we all miss because of the pandemic. But the truth of the matter is, is that uh, uh, late last year, we started experimenting with this because we had people in uh, New York and San Francisco and eventually in Europe and other places that we wanted to interview and and uh, getting into my uh, uh, vehicle and then backing up uh, in, in front of the house probably wasn't going to work as easily. <laughs> Not going to New York or, or New Orleans or any of the other places where we've interviewed people, yeah. Right. But, you know, the important thing here, Art, is that as bad as the year it was, who cares because we had a good year. Yeah, that's right. The heck with everybody. No, we actually, uh, I did a count, and I think as, as of today, uh, the end of the year, we've done about 300 uh, really? episodes of one form or another. Some of them, we've got about 30 or 35 that uh, are still to be released over the next, I don't know, uh, Month, two months. Two, yeah. But we're, yeah. we're, we're constantly recording uh, new episodes. So uh, right. I, I remember the first uh, uh, first 10 or 15 or 20 or 40 uh, had all sorts of issues because, uh, especially when the pandemic hit and people were meeting online uh, and the kids were starting to now meet online, it right. just played uh, havoc with uh, communications and bandwidth. And it wasn't until about... And, and uh, we we yeah. were old news by that time. We were on uh, on Skype doing interviews left, right, and sideways. Right. Here's the lesson, Art. You're never too old to be a pioneer. Correct. Or uh, what is a pioneer the one that gets the arrows in their back? But <laughs> ha having, having said that, uh, it was only until the last 50 or so that we were able to uh, uh, find some combination of things that allow us to nail the video almost right. without issue because uh, it, it used to go way in front. Like people see on TV all the time, still with the newscasts, and still with people using Skype and WebEx sure. and so on and so forth. But we nailed that about, I, I think, 50 or 60 ago. So the things that we're releasing now probably... Well, there's, yeah, there's no yeah. no doubt that our the quality, our technical quality has gotten better over the last year. Right. Um, but I, you know, I'm looking back at even our first videos when, when we were doing live, go to somebody's apartment or house or business and interview them. Um, it was while the quality was not as good as what we have now. The content has always yeah. been great. The content and the idea that we're um, the user manual for the second half of your life. I think we've done a real good job with that from the beginning. Um, with a great variety of information that people can use as they get older. Yeah, I mean, what I call it, navigating your maturity. Oh, your maturity. 
uh, I won't grow up. I'm the Peter Pan syndrome. Or, um, <laughs> or navigating your immaturity, if you will. Yeah. Right. And that I do quite well. I, I've taken classes in that. But having said all that, we've had uh, like a lot of amazing uh, one-off uh, interviews with people. Uh, uh, we have. You're right. Besides, uh, besides our regulars, you know, right. uh, who are experts in their field and f always have fascinating information and useful information, um, we've done a lot of one, one-off interviews, one-time-only interviews with people who are inspiring or have something to share uh, that's important or useful. And we'll continue to do that. We've already got a bunch lined up for uh, the next year, 2021. Right. And also, uh, we thank all of those people for, in the early days, having to put up with all those the setups. It's a lot easier now in most cases. <laughs> but uh, six of them have turned out to be regulars that we now uh, publish about one every uh, uh, eight or ten working days. Right. Right. And uh, from uh, John Mariani, who I think was our first one, the virtual gourmet. One was the, he the first? Yeah, yeah I think he's the yeah. first one. Uh, yeah, food and travel, and he's a good raconteur, fun right. guy to talk to. He's just, he's just right. He's a, he's like getting on with a, a buddy we haven't seen in a while, and just yeah. exchanging stories, and especially his stories about what he does. And then what about uh, Manny Pacheco? Manny. Well, you know, both Manny and John have been doing what they do for 30 years or more. So, uh, forgotten uh, Hollywood. They really know their yeah. stuff. Yeah, he knows his, his Hollywood stuff. Yeah. And he knows so many things beyond that. But just uh, the interesting stories that he has about uh, people that we've all seen on the screen and sure. admired is uh, really amazing. Yeah, he does. And he's, you know, you can't top him. Right. <laughs> Throw out a name. Uh, from the history of film or television, he seems to always know it. And then we have a couple of people in the health field. Ah, uh, Dr. Liz. Dr. Liz is our gem. She yeah. really is. She's quite good. She's, uh, boy, she, you know, the big thing I take away from Dr. Liz recently is vitamin D. Mm. Uh, but she's talked about uh, cancer and she's talked about uh, uh Geez, every medical condition, well, maybe not every yeah. medical condition, because yeah. we've still got a lot more to talk to her about. Well, we're, for the next 25 years, I'm working on coming up with some new things for her to tell us about. But her, her, her major uh, thrust is uh, hormone therapy. But she right. is a, she's a, a, an MD and has had a, a other practices before in OBGYN and what have you. And she's just a, she's a, a thoughtful uh, a person who beyond just her own specialty, uh, has kept us up to date on all the things dealing with COVID and, yeah. uh, and pointing us in the right direction when there's a lot of confusion. And then, of course... And she's, she's very good at uh, not doing medical speak. Right. At translating to, for people like me. And, of course, uh, uh, we always get a great hug out of our Love Connection coach. <laughs> Our love coach, Michelle Fabrega. Yeah, what a, Michelle's what a great. Find. Yeah. Michelle is great because not only does she address, you know, sexuality, senior sexuality, uh, but she addresses relationships. Uh, and of course, you know, that can be mother, daughter, adult children, uh, lovers, boy, everything you can think of. She's, she's, she's just a, an important resource, I think, for people. And when you get tired of the human connection, then we have uh, Sarah Surrett, who is uh, our Get Positive uh, uh, animal expert. She's a trainer, but more important for us is she talks about the kind of pets that are more appropriate for people who don't want to run around with little blue bags all the time, picking up, right. <laughs> you know, somebody of our age yeah. uh, and so, our sensibilities. Yeah, her recommendation is if you're in a walker, don't get a... Uh... A uh, Irish setter, you know, that's going to drag you around the block. Oh, I must have missed that one. I'll have to send the, <laughs> the setter back. No, she's very good. She's got weekly tips, mm -hmm. um, good hints and tips of, of taking care of your dogs and animals. Right. She, and, she's, and, we've been very fortunate, I think, um, with our experts. We right. have six experts. Yeah, well, our sixth one is just joining us. In fact, uh, if you go to Celebrating Act 2, the website, and go to the Contributors page, You'll see his first 
interview that we did with him a couple of months ago, and he was he was so impressive, and he was so not uh, technical speak, if you will. Yeah. And we invited him back, and uh, why don't you talk a little bit more about Steve Campbell, or the Brain Whisperer? Yes, Stephen Campbell. Now, I, we, I think it was in October when we first interviewed him. Yeah. And uh, everybody should go see that interview because uh, we labeled it, uh, you know, uh, transforming <coughs> yourself at age 62. Uh, but really, his story is about uh, at 62 years old having to reinvent himself because he had <coughs> laid off as a professor. Um, and he took what his knowledge of brain science, cutting edge, brain science and turned it into a series of lectures and a, I don't know what you call it, a um, really a methodology mm. of helping us take our brains and use using our brains to do what we want to do, not what we sometimes can't do, you know? Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm not lack for words. Uh, what does he call it? Well, I, I think I don't know what he calls it exactly, but basically, he says your brain basically will believe anything you tell it. So if you say I can't do something, it will reinforce that. And my biggest takeaway from him is the uh, opportunity to help tell us a brain something that we can do, even if we can't do it right now, and do it in such a way as sure. to reformulate so to help us have a better shot. At sure, to get rid of our get. Yeah, to get rid of our negative yeah. thinking, which right. I think creeps into everybody every once in a while. And we've got a four-part part series uh, of his starting in January, don't we, John? Right, January 21st, uh, I think. Thursday. It's a Thursday, 20, yeah. for January 21st, the mm -hmm. Thursday. Um, starting on the 21st, we're going to play the first of his four foundational videos, which kind of explain how this whole thing works. Mm -hmm. And... and motivate you so that you can then participate afterwards in all his other lectures, his other videos, where he will address very specific uh, issues like quitting smoking or losing weight or that kind of thing. So, so learning those first four or watching those first four videos, I think is important for everybody. And we'll do that. We'll play that every Thursday, starting on the 21st. Uh, for four weeks. And then after that, we'll be playing his videos on specific issues. I don't know what the right word is, but... Right. He, so, he, his whole goal is to help us transform our life. So, 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 John, I think before we get to the point where they start counting 10, 9... Oh. We, the yeah, hook. Yeah, the the <laughs> hook. But before we do the <laughs> hook, uh, uh, I, uh, on behalf of both uh, John and myself, we thank all of you who have either encouraged us or discouraged us, uh, but without effect, because we're still here, uh, who've contributed uh, stories to us, who would like to contribute stories, please send us a note. And uh, we just wish for all of you, uh, we're glad that you made it to the end of the year. Uh, we look forward to uh, returning to normal sometime in 2021. But until then, and even after then, we hope to continue to bring you interesting stories that help you understand that you can do anything you want to do because uh, we are the user manual, John. For the second half of your life. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, everybody, thank you for everything and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.